Hey folks, I'm down at the studio today for Tika's Teachables. Um, I've lost count of how many we've done, so um, I'll update that when I look it up. Anyway, I'm, um, I'm interested in showing you guys something today that um, has come up several times in our classes, um, especially the ones when we do the wood cutouts. So I know there's a lot of you that have taken these cutouts uh, that we get from Jam We Create, and there is no hanger on the back of them. So Oregon has a nice flat bottom, so they can sit on a shelf this way. And, but I wanna give you guys a couple of examples uh, that we've talked about in class as far as options for hanging them. Hi, Amy. Um, before I do that, I wanna show you, if you haven't already seen what we're doing for Star Wars Day, Darth Vader, won our vote, so we will be painting this painting. And um, we've got sweet cream that's going to be providing some delicious Star Wars themed ice cream. Uh, I hear there are pop rocks in it, so I can't wait to check those out. Um, anyway, back to the wood cutouts. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna turn the camera around so we can show you what I'm doing. All right. Let me get this situated here, make sure you can see it. Okay, so you can see my different supplies there. I have ribbon, some sawtooth hangers, I've got a glue gun, I've got some E6000, and a couple um, wood stir sticks or craft sticks. So I am going to show you how I suggest doing this. So we've got a couple of these. You guys have seen these. Um, the first one I'm going to do is with the E6000. I think this is the easiest one to do. E6000 is a little bit smelly. So definitely crack a window. I've got my sawtooth hanger. If you look at that there, you've got the, the, the sawtooth edge here. This other side would work, but that's not the side I actually want. I want this here. We're going to glue that into place right there. I get these from Michaels. They have smaller packages. These are the smallest ones that you can see their size right there. These are the smallest ones I found there. Um, they're lightweight and they come with these tiny little See that little nail? I don't recommend nailing into that. For one, it's going to split your wood. And two, well, one reason's enough. And as I'm sitting here with the glue, you can see what it does. That's the whole reason that I have the stir stick. So I'm just going to take a little bit off the top there. Sorry, hold on. I don't want to make a mess of this. <laughs> I'm going to set that there. Okay, so I've got the glue. Can you see that? I am going to put it on both, both sides of this. All right. And then I'm going to center this and press down like so. So you want to make sure that it's in the middle. Um, I've got this marked at the center here. So you let that dry overnight. Do not try to just pick it up and it's not going to be ready right now. But I did do this yesterday so you could see. So this is now good and secure on there. I can hang that on the wall. Um, I'll take a picture later so I can show you guys how these hang. But there's that one. All right, I'm going to take Haystack Rock here flip that one over and this time we're going to take about a six inch piece of ribbon you could use twine um, this is all we're gonna do we're just gonna create a loop here so I've got my glue gun ready I'm going to put a bead down in the center and that actually is a little higher than I want it, 
but that's okay because what I'm going to do is just make this loop a little bit smaller and press into it. I want this to go below the top of that, so I'm going to drag it out a little bit. I can always trim the ends. So this bottom one, or I'm sorry, this top one is going to need a little reinforcement there so it stays put. And I'll use this craft stick too. I want to press this out a little bit flat so that we don't have it pushing away from the wall when we go to hang it. All right, so that only takes a couple minutes to, um, to dry and then this will be fine for hanging on the wall as well. I can come in and trim those longer edges or ends. I can't talk today, you guys. You'd think that for a job where I talk all the time, I'd be able to do that. Okay, so that's the example for that one. Um, and the last example I wanted to give you is um, actually me just describing it because I don't have one with me here. There are spring-loaded, um, I need sharper scissors, Michael. Yes, you're so right. Um, grab the wrong ones. But anyway, so there are plate hangers that are spring-loaded. What they do is they grab both sides. And so my fingers are doing the job that they would be doing. And then they end up with a, with a, um, a bar across the back where you can hang it from. So not the best example since I don't have one with me, but you get the idea. Um, you've got a sawtooth hanger using the E6000. I wouldn't use the hot glue on this. For some reason, it wants to, the metal wants to pop off of the, um, the, the glue when you use a hot glue gun. The hot glue gun works just fine though when you have something um, porous like the ribbon or twine. So you've got a couple options there for hanging these. Um, if you decide to follow either of those and hang them up. I'd love to see them on your walls. People have been spend, sending me pictures recently of, of their displays of all their artwork and I love it. It's been great to see. Um, we look forward to seeing you in the studio soon. I need a break, you guys. <laughs> I didn't even do the video last week. I was so sick. But um, thank you guys for watching today and we'll see you next time.